Ah, oh, a little rough, don't you think? Resident Evil 4. Hello, and welcome back to Resident Evil 4, the game that asks you what's it all Resident Evil 4. Uh, now, I have been through this particular level, or this part of the game, uh, about four or five times now, so uh, my commentary will reflect that. However, um, duty calls. <laughs> Let's get started. Leon, I've been able to get some new info that might help you. Fill me in. Apparently, there's a religious cult group involved. They're called the Los Illuminados. Los Illuminados? <laughs> That's a mouthful. Anyway, I had an unexpected run-in with the big cheese of this village. But you're okay, right? Yeah. But he could have killed me, but he let me live. And he mentioned something about me carrying the same blood as them. Whatever that means. Carry the same blood? Huh. Interesting. Anyway, there are more important things than solving riddles right now. You're right. Hurry and find that church, Leon. Alrighty. So, is this... Yeah, that's right. We can't pick that up because our inventory is full. Wrong button. So, the problem... Ah, right. The problem with recording this game is that it's on the Oculus. And the Oculus has a funny way of handling um, video length. That's the way to say it. And it turns out, if I if I uh, go a certain period of time, I'll open that, take this green herb, if I go for a certain length of time, right, then it'll just stop recording, and the entire video file will be corrupted. So, knowing that, what I'm going to have to do is uh, take stock of time, 133 time played, 944. So about like 1015 or so, I should go ahead and pause the game, save the recording, start the recording again, and resume. So when you see me do that, uh, that's why I'm doing that. Also, let's see, what's over here? Because you know, Mr. Man's here. He's got his eye out that window for some reason, right? And we have to find out what it is. Um, thinking that it's probably that over there. What do you think? Yeah. Now, I don't know if I'll actually have to interface with that trap or if I just wasted a bullet, but you know what? My man's here. He's keeping an eye out for me, and that is a warning that I will heed. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. We are of the same blood, after all. Now, this is an important room. The reason this is an important room is because it is the only bathroom that I've ever found in this game. I could be wrong, but as far as I know, this is the only bathroom. <laughs> and it's all mine! Oh, I can't. It doesn't flush. It's just, there's no hole. You just, what, piss in the bowl and it falls on your feet? This is the worst bathroom ever. Maybe that's what that guy was trying to fix. He was going to, like, chisel a hole or something inside it. Uh, let's see. I think there's money in here? Yeah. So, as I said, I've been through this a few times, and uh, my commentary will reflect that. So I won't be so spooked by certain things, though I'm actually quite surprised I still got spooked by something later. We'll see if it does it again. That was an absolute tragic failure. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Running away, getting this. <laughs> I don't have a lot of inventory space, so.
Kick, here it comes. Reload this. Uh, we're doing pretty good. Six out of uh, 15, 17, uh, a whole bunch of numbers. Ooh, and we get the ruby. That's right. That's a treasure. It's a treasure enemy. Now, we don't actually have to kill that guy to proceed, I don't believe. We could just run right past him. And maybe on, like, handgun-only runs, you probably would. That reminds me. Does this game have a knife-only mode? Can you? I don't think you can kill every enemy with just a knife. Anyone, anyone have a problem with what I just did? Good. Sorry, nose itches. Sometimes Leon's got to scratch his nose, you know? He just puts his whole hand in there. Yeah, the Oculus Quest on the face just kind of creates this sort of nose itchy scenario. Not tasty, just itchy. Did it again. Mm, sorry about that. Um, this... <sighs> Do I not have a grenade? Hold on a moment, sir. I don't have a grenade equipped. Also, let's go ahead and mix those herbs together. There we go. Our health is fine. Doing fine. There we go. You can have that. Funk. I got something for you. have all this. Bam, I'm getting a lot of handgun ammo this time around. And a new grenade after the one I just used. Do some reloading. There we are. And our first TMP ammo, I believe. Looks like a TV dinner though, doesn't it? If you're gonna eat like a, a microwave jackal or something. So open this door. Now we can enter the Pueblo. We've been here before. But now we're coming in from the other side. Let's see if we can't get everyone involved. Catch! I think there's somebody behind me, isn't there? There is. Woohoo! And we're done. Lots of ammo. So much ammo. Why is there so much ammo? So the last four times I've done this, I would go into this house and just like shotgun them to the best of my ability. What are we doing? Take that, reload it. It only holds 10 bullets? It only holds 10 bullets. And you need to be reloaded. Just put these in there. There we go. 12 shells. Ah, I forgot about you. Get down here. La 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 la, surgeon simulator. Yeah, I can do that too. Just doesn't work. Not like that does. La 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 la, sunk. Alright. Did he drop anything for me? No, just his life. 
Let's see how uh, Bob the farm mayor is doing. Hey, Bob. How you doing? Doing all right? You know, this is like, I think the fourth or fifth time we've seen each other today. But you're looking great. Eating healthy. Appreciate it. Whoops. This water looks... Uh, nutritious, I would say. It's got some, um, it's, uh, just enjoy your day, Bob. Enjoy your day. I will make sure this whole village is cleaned out for you so you don't get bothered. Mm. Yeah, I know you hate them so much. I know, when Evan shows up and they're, like, burning. Mm. Yeah, I know, you hate the burning the most. Like, that guy there, he's going to be there for a while. There's nothing I can do. Mm. There's nothing I can, look, there's nothing I can do about him, all right? He's, I can't reach, it's on fire. It burns. It burns me. You don't care if it burns me? All right, well, you know what? All right, fine. I'll just leave. I'll leave. And I hope you just uh, have a great day. hope you just do well on your own. <laughs> He's still mooing at me. I was hoping to scare an egg out of that chicken. Didn't work out that time, though. All right, so. It's locked and won't open. There's some kind of symbol on the door. I like this. Instead of going in your own inventory, they just give you the key item that you know you're supposed to use. You can pull it out of e the ether and then just put it right where it needs to be. Turn the key and open the door. It's really cool. It's really cool. All right. So I'm going to start a practice. Whenever I see a uh, typewriter, whether I'm going to save the game or not, I'm going to go ahead and save the video and then start recording again. So just give me a moment. I'll be right back. And we're back. Let's continue. Hopefully now I won't have any issues with the game's recording. The good news is, is I actually know where all the treasures are at this point from the game, all the retreads. There was a point in the uh, first attempt where I just didn't figure something out for a good while and I mean, it's not really compelling gameplay when that happens, you know? So I'm glad for at least that moment. One. Two. Three. Dang it. I was going to try not to reload at this point because I don't think I used any handgun bullets before I meet the merchant. Well, no, I will. I'll be using, the, I'll be using handgun bullets. Got something that might interest you. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. So, stranger, any luck with the blue medallions? Remember, shoot ten or more to get your specialized gun. Ha ha ha! Indeed. What are you selling? Am I selling? I'm selling this ruby. So, something I found out. Ah. I'll buy it at a high price. Is that all the stuff in this side are things you can just sell. All the stuff here goes into items like this. So you can feel confident in selling everything in this tray here. And whenever you have a treasure like this, it's got clear like sockets for something. You just want to keep those there forever. Um, this doesn't have anything. It's just a clock. Doesn't have room for like a pearl or something. Excuse me, we're selling that. This has a gem right there already. It's already valuable. Doesn't have anything on the back. So we can just sell all that stuff. <laughs> Thank you. You are welcome. We have 71,000 pesetas. What are you buying? What am I buying? We can buy Is that TMP. All stranger? Oh, that's right. We're full of fish, aren't we? I forgot about the fish. What are you selling? We're gonna sell Is all that the old fish. stranger. I love the meme of uh, having a bunch of fish in your inventory in this <laughs> game. Thank you. That's one of the fun things about what are you games buying? that don't take themselves too seriously. You know, right? You know, stranger. Because you could just Is have that fun, old stranger. I'll put that over there. Buy the TMP. <laughs> Thank you. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Buy that. Thank you. And we'll do some what tuning up. I'm going to tune up. 
the uh, yeah, we're gonna definitely tune up. Oops, let me take this book out there. The capacity on the TMP because that's thirty to fifty. That's a massive <laughs> leap in clip Thank size. You. I'm never gonna. I'm probably not gonna put anything in firepower. I might go back on that later, but for now, I don't plan on putting anything in firepower. Rifle, still got 55k capacity. Firepower. When you're hitting something with the rifle, you want it <laughs> to matter. You. And with the low reload speed on the rifle, I would prefer to have a longer clip in there. And we're not going to do anything with the handgun because later on we're going to do something else with that handgun. We're going to sell it, right? Right, you know the future. You've been there with me. Oh, look at that face. He's just like, Stranger, you're my only customer. Sir, could you please, could you buy some things from me, stranger? Or sell? I'll buy them at a high price. Don't you worry your little head. I'll be right back, and you'll probably be way ahead of me by then anyway, so... Sorry, I, I didn't mean to scare you. I was just looking at my gun. I'm, I'm gonna go now. I'll see you later, bud. I'll see you later. I do like the control scheme in this game. Like, the quest controllers have an index finger button and a middle finger button, and the pinky and ring fingers hold on to the, uh, the paddle part that lets you keep control of the angle and, uh, you know, basically your hands. And then you have an analog stick, oops, excuse me, analog stick where the thumbs are. And then everything else is just context sensitive. It's actually very smart. Oh, is that your bird? Well, your bird owed me money, for one. Ah. Sorry, I actually... Can I kick him? No. Can I kick him? No. Can I kick you? Yes. Haha, <laughs> all right. I actually was trying to shoot that bird, and uh, my hand hit the ceiling fan. So I guess that bird gets to live. No, it doesn't. It gets to fly away. But it died in a place that's unrecoverable. So if it had anything, I'll never know. But we did get that bird, and we got a good shot on it, too. That was a very good shot, I would say. Well lined up. Perfect shot. And it feels really good when you get those good shots in this game because you got them because you did it. Like, you lined up the shot. You've pulled the trigger. And it just feels really good. A lot of these blue emblems, here I'll show you. They're actually facing this side, right here. Like that. So if you're just like walking through the cemetery, it's a good chance you might miss the blue emblem because it's sideways. I think that's pretty clever. It's a way of hiding the item in plain sight without being a dick about it. Right? Right. I'll be with you in a moment, sir. Treasure! Right. Um, isn't there a bird's nest? Somewhere there it is. Oh, there was an incendiary grenade hidden in that bird's nest. Those were like rebel forces getting ready to take out the man, is what that, is what that was. Remember, remember, the 5th of November, they would say. Um, oh, here's another fun thing. We did just get that TMP, right? I like the TMP. We also got the stock for the TMP. Can move this over, move this over. It does take the place of the shotgun in that slot, the two-handed slot. But even though it's in the two-handed slot, it does not mean you need to use two hands to use it. But if you do have it, it looks pretty cool. 
you know, let's get that stock on there, feel good. Put two hands there. Now the left hand actually does refine, uh, like the fine tuning aiming. The right hand does as well, but moving both together feels really, really good. No, hold on, I'll get this right. Yeah, there we go. You can switch hands and you can have, you can have both of them, like so. However, you can't reload them <laughs> with your hands fully gone. So, do that. Like that. Isn't that fun? Like, honestly, to me, that's worth price of admission. Just being able to do cool stuff like that. Because as you saw, you can do both at the same time. And this, like, sweeps easily because it has, like, you know, all the recoil. This is accurate. So you can go, like, headshots and, like, sweep the legs at the same time. It's really cool. Okay. Um, I'll show you how to solve this one. I'm certain that you guys already know. But in case this is your very first time seeing Resident Evil 4, you have to know that, first, this is an optional, uh, an optional puzzle. We don't need that gem for anything to open up doors or whatever. It's just a treasure. And we have uh, family insignias there, right? If you go to the graveyard, <laughs> you can see these doubled up gravestones here. So we have mountain peaks, that's what I call those. And then you have the letter U or a V. And then you have the letter Z sideways, right? Okay. Um, also, let me just check. I think there's still... yeah, that one. So I wanted to check the blue medallion status, if I got all of them yet or not. I just didn't get the one, but we're going to go back to that room anyway, so it's no problem. And this puzzle here wants you to choose those three uh, insignias. There we go. That's 12 of 15. Those three insignias. That one there, this one here, and this one here. So if we go four, oh no, no, let's not go four, let's reset. If we go three, and then we go three again, three again, hmm. I was hoping to do this quickly. Uh, it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to do this quickly. Turn that one off. Um, but if I go four, I'll land here. And then if I go four again, one, two, three, four. Wait, if I go one, two, three, oh, sorry, one, two, three, and then from here press one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's right. I can't get to that one. So that has to, that, that rotation has to happen. And then this one, if I go to three here, because I can't go from there to here. So if I go here first, now we're going to hit four. And then we're going to hit four. And then we're going to hit three. Did it. Got the green cat's eye gem. Bam. Now, originally, Elon has to scratch his nose again. Originally, I thought I had to, like, mix some of these to make a different... No, I didn't have to do that. It's just those three symbols. So now we can solve that a lot faster. And we got that green cat's eye gem. So, let's go to treasures. And I'll show you. See, on this side of the tray... Green cat's eye gem. We know it goes right into the beer stein. It goes right there. We have the red one. We don't have the other one. Probably blue. But I've gotten every treasure so far. So I'm thinking that treasure is somewhere else. Oh. Hello? Leon, have you reached the church yet? Uh, well, yeah. Sort of. Leon, did I mention not to take the scenic route? At any rate, Ashley's probably inside that structure. Rescue her. Hurry! 
Oh, of course. We're here for Ashley. We're not here for blue medallions and beer steins. We're here to save the president's daughter. What's wrong with Leon? It won't open. There's a round hole. Maybe something fits here. Um, just a moment. There we go. And then... Boop. Hunnigan, it's Leon. The door's locked. I can't get in. Didn't they teach you how to pick locks at the academy? Yeah. There's some sort of indentation, like something might fit inside. Well, there's no use standing around. Leon, you have to find some way or something to get inside. Hmm. Ah! Hunnigan? I've got just the thing. We'll use explosives, right? No. Unfortunately, that door is probably impossible to open. It's an impossible dream to open that door with just explosives. I yes, I yourself. <laughs> All right, you asked for it. Dude's nuts have been shredded. I'm sorry. That guy's balls are pudding. There's another one. And there it is, way over there. So there is a blue medallion just over there. You can kind of see it shine right there. When I played on PS2, I actually managed to nail that with a TMP because I was going TMP only. I sold this gun. I got the, uh, the free gun you get and I sold that right afterwards. I was trying to be like super baller. There's that snake. And that thing spooked me like crazy last time. I was I was prepared for it. I knew there would be a snake, but for some reason that snake just surprised me again. And it, ugh. unfortunately you guys won't ever see that because the Oculus decided to not record that. But I feel good for it because I don't like to be spooked. And there's the last one. So it's 15 for 15. All the blue medallions. Hey, you know what? You know what? We have a really cool thing, don't we? Let's just put that over there. We even got some ammo for it. Thought I'd kill him with that, but it didn't turn out that way. Is that right? No, oh, dang. Whatever he had is now lost to the waves. Oh, before we do this, let me pull that back out. Drop this. Slap that in there. Load that. Put that away. And let's put the TMP back in my hands. I'm not as good with that rifle. But we used up some of that ammo. I was just trying to get that off of there, but uh, well, we still got, we got space. We also have something to read. Just put it in the candle there. You think we have to, no, we, we have to read it. It's magic paper. You pay attention to magic paper. Let's read. Regarding the two fugitives, the apprehension of Luis is our top priority. The American agent, a distant second. What Luis stole from us is far more important than the girl. Unless we get it back, the girl will become useless to us. We must get it back to execute our plan to the end. If it gets in the wrong hands, the world would become a totally different place than what Lord Sadler has envisioned. At all costs, we mustn't let that happen. Nevertheless, we're not letting go of the girl. To ensure that the agent does not get to her, I've locked the church door where the girl is being held. Anyone who needs access to the church must first get approval by Lord Sadler. There is a key beyond the lake, but it should be safe now that the Del Lago has been awakened by our Lord. No one will get across the lake alive. Plus, our same blood courses to the agent's veins. It'll be just a matter of time before he joins us. Once he does, there will be nobody else left that will come looking for the girl. Okay. 
I do find it very interesting that uh, they don't care about Leon at all in this game. Like he's he's there, but their power is such that Leon is just one man. He can't stop them. He can't stop them doing whatever they want. Flash. All right. Sorry, all you Raven lovers out there. This has to happen. Yep, survivor. Very courageous one. That one just... You know what? You killed all my friends. What have I got to live for? And I understand. I am... I would be very understanding about that. I just realized I can pick up a whole bunch of stuff with both hands. I don't have to just use the one hand. I'll take that. Right. Left-handed or right-handed. Very cool. I love that they've they've uh, made that so accessible for lefties and righties. So I do feel bad for lefties. I mean, they're a smaller percentage of human population, but a lot of things are built like scissors for right hands, and it's just not cool. More of a universal approach should be should be uh, standard. Whoosh. Like, I could see them going like, hey, like, we can't let people use two hands because they would be able to do something like this. But then somebody else was like, hey, wouldn't that be baller as fuck, though? And, okay, fine. <laughs> okay, fine, they said. Let them dual wield. Now, it would be about this time when the Oculus would just stop recording. But we've made every precaution against it but while I still have the red dot I'm going to hit this save right here no 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 go down there we are we'll overwrite Leon 5 Leon 5 okay we still have the red dot fantastic the red dot is the, uh, you can't see it, but right here it shows me in the quest that we were recording. Right, sir? You can see it. I know you can see it. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Yes, you do. Well done, stranger. I see you've shot enough number of medallions. Like I promised, go claim your specialized gun in the buy screen. Don't worry about money. This one's on the house. So here's something for What are you selling? First off, we're going to sell this handgun. We strength? no longer need it. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Because he's going to give us a buying? free handgun called the Punisher. Now, if you had just done the 10 blue medallions and come here, you'd get the Punisher. If you do all 15, you get the Punisher with a level 1 upgrade. A wise choice, mate. Its ammo will penetrate just about anything. Just about it. Will it penetrate your heart, stranger? Will you finally fall in love with me? I don't think so. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> Thank you. Um... Pop. What so, are you selling? We do have a gem or two. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. We have 54,000 pesetas. What are you buying? I really like this too. Like they could have just made a like a user interface that would be more generic, but this is like this is the workbench. Now everything's viced in. You can unscrew and rescrew things. It's really cool. Um, I'm going to increase capacity. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> and then shot Thank delay you. is something. It's specific for RE4 VR because shot delay. Um, like let, let's say you wanted to shoot really quickly and you wanted to just like tap the controller button to fire. Um, maybe even like manipulate, like do like a home mod or something like that. Also, we're just tapping our fingers together. A home mod or something like that to make your trigger finger move faster. That doesn't matter. This actually regulates how fast you can pull the trigger regardless. But I don't want to spend 10K on like a 0 0.07 speed increase. I think I'll just be more careful where I put my shots. And this here, capacity, we already did that. I think everything else is fine. This here is fully upgraded. Okay. I see nothing wrong. We have two full mixed herbs. 
We have one green in case we come across a red or a yellow. We have three flash grenades. Those will be useful so someday. Someday? Soon, I'll say. They'll be useful soon. Uh, we have enough shotgun ammo to do some damage, enough pistol ammo to do some damage, enough TMP ammo. We're good. We have 46,000 pesetas still. Boy, now, what I would boy. buy is a rocket launcher. <laughs> and we could certainly afford it, but I don't have the space for it. And besides, it's less fun, less interesting, if I go into future fights and just whip out a rocket launcher. But, oh, I forgot. You have to tell the game that you put that pistol where it should go. There we go. We have our brand new pistol. Let's get some light on it. Looks really cool. What's that, I wonder? Is that the clip release? No. Hmm. I mean, it's kind of got to be, doesn't it? He, has, he doesn't actually press a button, though, does he? No, his finger just goes off the trigger. He doesn't press the clip release. It's got to be that right there. It has to be close, and that little thing right there should be safety. Yeah. And that would be um, semi-auto or auto-fire, probably, depending on how it's set up. But this only has one way of firing. It does have glow-in-the-dark sights, but it's not very effective in the dark, as you can see. Anyway, we're done here. We don't have a boat or anything, so we can't do anything with the fish. As far as I know, I'm just carrying this gun like I'm going to shoot somebody. So we have to go back up. Back to the quarry. And now to the swamp. So we got all 15 blue medallions. We no longer have to worry about the blue medallions. But that seems like something, like a trap. What do you think? So I heard someone say that when you're playing RE4 VR, it's like, touch your nipple to pull out a knife. Touch the other nipple. Oh, okay, you have to use your right hand because the left hand will pull the pin. But yeah, touch your other nipple to pull out the grenade. And things, you can't just like fast swap. So like once you pull the knife out and you throw it away, I am proving myself wrong. Okay. You know, now I'm curious, will punching work in this game? I mean, it's registering my hands. Anyway, let's go. Probably the best thing about RE4 VR is the fact that you don't have to press a button at the end of that. You just run. Also, let's take a look at our map in case there is anything else. Okay, but there is a treasure coming up right there. Fortunately, we can see these traps in advance. Mm. 
and I was wrong about something. I thought I couldn't keep my gun out after kicking someone. I was completely incorrect. Woo -hoo -hoo. You did? You did. So if, as long as you're holding the trigger button down, or like the hand holding the gun button down, you can actually kind of play this like an FPS. So I recommend closing one eye for accuracy. in the water. doing 13 of 22 bullets well, that's uh, 35 bullets isn't it hey a real grenade I'm a little miffed that I just kind of wasted that flash grenade though I mean it went off but it went off in the water and I guess that just doesn't matter um, enjoy that egg Leon it's delicious we love our eggs let's make sure everything's reloaded I only have, okay, I had 14 TMP ammo, now I've got more. 44. Delicious money. Aha! You aren't gonna, you are not gonna fucking get me, snakes. I'm smarter than snakes. Excellent. Treasures. Um, let me check the map, make sure I'm not looking aimlessly. Okay, yeah, still that same treasure is still there. I haven't found one yet. Might be in a bird's nest or something like that. This game is ridiculously fun. This is an antique pipe. There is our treasure. Oh, I'll take that, but I will not throw that in the water. That's pretty clearly not going to work. Ooh. 
you never saw me pull out a knife from my nipple, did you? Did you? You're like, what? He's got a knife in his nipple? Yeah, that's right. Mm. Oh, okay. <sighs> that first swing didn't kill him. I was like, no, 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 no. I believe they have taken out poison in this game. Um, Resident Evil's 1, 2, 3, probably Code Veronica, all had poison as a mechanic, but I don't think it exists in this game, so I'm not worried about that. It's just like the unnecessary taking of damage. Do you have handgun ammo for all the handgun ammo you just had me waste? Of course, I could have just left it alone. It wasn't really a danger, but it's also a snake. You know what I mean? Snake. All right, I'm going to take a second, just a moment. Okay, just making sure I don't lose the recording. Things are going so well. Oh, a gold bangle with pearls. If this was FF7, this would be a gold bangle with materia. Yet. Wouldn't be a snake in here? Oh, I'll take that. That's something we can deal with right now. My health is fine. I'm gonna put that in there so I use that first. I've got so many eggs. <laughs> Delicious eggs. So we have like four spaces here available. Uh, reloaded, reloaded. Mostly reloaded, mostly reloaded. Let's just go ahead and put that in there and uh, reload it. And then put this back where it was. I believe snakes can also appear in there. Not 100%, but it's possible. Okay, we're here. We've made it. I'm going to make a save, a separate save. There we are. Gonna overwrite that to uh, lake. So I know exactly where that is. Bam. And with that, we're gonna wrap this video up for now. I do want to thank you all for checking it out, hanging out with me. I appreciate it very much. Uh, I will be returning with more Resident Evil 4 VR very soon on a Tuesday, Thursday upload schedule. And uh, like I said, thank you very much. If you like what you saw, like the, like the video, it helps me out. And if you want to see more, subscribe, please. I will be doing this for the years following, so uh, you'll get plenty for your time. With that, good night, everybody, and I'll see you again next time.